What do you think of the Phantom of Haunted Hill on YouTube? Welcome to another video here on Phantom of Haunted Hill. Hey folks, welcome to the Phantom of Haunted Hill. Let's go inside. I'm here at Camp Crystal Lake. Yes, we're going to have a barbecue with the Voorhees family. But let's go inside and do part two of the Phantom's Horror Video Collection. And here we are, back in the old domain, yes indeed. Go back to Camp Crystal Lake, we'll have that barbecue with the Voorhees. It's, we're going to do that later. We're going to show off a little more, more of my uh, horror DVD collection. Um, the last one didn't seem too popular. We'll give it one more shot. Because I've got tons of them, tons of them. <laughs> so we're going to head back over to that shelf there. But I, I got something in the mail today that was pretty cool. Um, Larry from uh, the band The Manimals, an old Cleveland band, a cross kind of between punk and metal. Very much, you can tell there's a Misfits influence, but it, it's not like 99% of the horror punk bands that all sound exactly like the Misfits. No, the Manimals, you could tell they were influenced, but they were a lot harsher. <laughs> they were fucking great stuff, so I, Larry emailed me and wanted to send me a new CD, and I got this cool card here. I am now one of us, one of them. Yes, indeed. LTW, Larry the Wolf. And here is the CD, The Manimals. What's this one called? Studies in Scarlet, 1982 to 2018. And I saw The Manimals long, long, back in the early 80s. <laughs> and uh, I can't remember who they opened up for, but... Yes, I've seen them before. I've seen them uh, even as far as 10 years or so ago. So we've got two discs here. Two disc set. It includes the Horrorcore CD, The Blood is the Harvest EP, and the title track, Blood is the Harvest. Man, that's a song that's just so catchy and so killer. I, it makes me warm inside. I love that song, man. What else we got? Uh, new tracks from 2016 to 2018. Live at the Beach Lane Ballroom. Uh, those are different dates. Two, 2009 and 2007. And then we got Rarities. All the way from 82 to 2000. Yes, indeed. Here's the back. Tells you what you're getting. Some other great songs I remember is Island of Lost Souls. Totally true horror inspired band. It came with this awesome booklet. If I can get it out. <laughs> Had trouble before. We got the booklet of course. Hello. I am a booklet. Well, how you doing? Nice to meet you. 
Okay, we got some words of wisdom. Look at those guys. What happened to their eyes? We got some flyers, some old flyers. Let's see if I was at, if the one of those shows I was at was is on here. The Necros, I don't know. I saw the Necros with Megadeth and Overkill, believe it or not. Government issue, yeah, huh. huh, I don't see one. But we got more showing the various years of the band. It was 84 to 88. And then we got some more stuff here, more pictures. This is just awesome. The whole package is awesome. And I haven't listened to it yet. I just got it. And uh, so I can just tell you what I know. And it's pretty fucking killer stuff, man. Uh, just think of it's totally horror inspired. I mean, you know, there's another one. There's three of them there. There's Orlock and a Dark. <laughs> and we got some more flyers here. Totally awesome booklet, man. And if you don't think so, this guy's going to get you. <laughs> He's going to bite you in the deep. <laughs> so there you go. Check the, the Manimals out if you've never heard them. It's really good classic stuff. Like it says, a mixture of punk and metal. <sighs> yes, indeed. All right. There's our music portion of the show. Hey, I'm Ed Sullivan. We have a really big show for you today. We're going to get back to part two of the Phantom's Horror DVD collection. Let's go there now. Let's go. You want to go? Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on. And where did we leave off on this monstrosity pile? Right over here, I remember. Our horror hosts. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? We have the legendary Frank and Drac here. Hold on, let me, let me try to fix this here. No, no, that's not the way to go. Frank and Drac, they were in the 80s. They actually replaced Elvira, believe it or not. <laughs> Can you believe it? Frank and Drac, legends. Drac is still on the air doing Transylvania tonight on the Monster Channel with uh, the Countess Carita. So we've got that. And then we have American Scary. This is a documentary about different horror movie hosts. We have some Cleveland hosts are on here. And look at that, there's Commander USA. Oh, I love Commander USA. And then as we travel here, look what else we got. We got the Creature Features with Bob Wilkins. This is the best I can do with this camera, folks. Look at that. Very cool stuff. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> there we go. Then, because uh, I'm running out of room, so we're going to just keep some of these out. Here we have Count Gore Duval, Creature Features. We have Volume 4 right here, House on Haunted Hill. Yes, indeed. The Brain That Wouldn't Die. Volume 1. Uh, Hey, what's up, Creighton? <laughs> I call him by his real name. And we have Volume 6, Sounds of Horror. Some people say that's uh, what happens when uh, the Phantom's in the bathroom. Yeah. Then, of course, speaking of the great Count Duval, here's a great documentary all about him. 
every other day is Halloween. He was a just a TV host. I mean, look, he was he did the captain. He was the clown and the count. Yes, indeed, Count Gordival. And I got to meet him. I actually got a shirt, and it's autographed by him. Okay, let's head back to Cleveland. My number one favorite horror host of all time, Superhost. Super Bits. This is all of his comedy sketches. He has passed away. I got to meet him just uh, before he had passed away. And it was, uh, I mean, I'm, su I'm surprised that, you know, tears were in my eyes <laughs> meeting one of my heroes. I grew up with this man every Saturday afternoon. Start off with the Three Stooges and then go into two horror movies. Your soup's on. Look, I got it signed by Soup. Yes, Cleveland, Ohio approved. And there he is when he first started back in, what, 68, 69. Now these are all mixed up here. I don't know what happened there. So we're going to just see what goes on here. <laughs> so much for keeping things in some sort of order. Remember the old TV show Monsters? Here's the complete series. I love this show. It was great, just like Tales from the Dark Side. And what else we got here? We have uh, some more movies. We have The Monster of Venice. Yes, indeed. Look at that. I wonder if that's what I'm going to look like in 300 years. <laughs> and then, of course, the classic Blood on Satan's Claw. Starring the extremely beautiful perfection masterpiece, Linda Hayden. All right, so now we end up in the Elvira section. I don't have every single one of their of these DVDs, but I do have some great ones. The House That Screamed, The Man Eater of Hydra, one of my favorites, the classic Elvira film, Monstroid. Yes, indeed. And Blue Sunshine. Then we have The Legacy of Blood and The Devil's Wedding Night. Yes, indeed. So we're going to put those over here for now because <laughs> moving along. Then we have some more Elvira. We have some more Elvira in the other area. And we can show that some other time. This one's House on Haunted Hill and Night of the Living Dead. And Elvira's Haunted Hills. My, what hills they be. It is indeed. Alright, now we head into the section of some of my friends here. Mark Justice, he was interviewed on this very channel, The Phantom of Haunted Hill. Here's his first film, which I love. It's a classic. It's exactly like a 50s beach movie. Monster of Party Beach. Yes, that was Mark's first film. From Cyclops Movies, his company there. Sorority Sisters vs. Sasquatch. <laughs> and Quest for Uranus. <laughs> yes, indeed. Speaking of my friends, a lot of these all got mixed up, folks, so I apologize. And uh, I'm not even going to go through the rest of these. I planned on it, but I don't know. We'll see how this video does. If the other one didn't do too well. My friends, horror movie host, The Mummy and the Monkey. Here's their Halloween special. And look, they signed it. Janet Decay 
and Grim Gory. Yes, indeed. That they're showing Horror Hotel with the great Christopher Lee. And we got their Harry Scary Hangout. They're on YouTube, by the way, every Friday night. Here they are showing Horror Express. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Look at that lovely couple. Aren't they just lovely? <laughs> and uh, we'll get back to the mummy and the monkey in a minute here, but here's a movie that Janet starred in. I do believe she starred in it. Revenge of the Spacemen. Yes, indeed. Produced and written by J.P. Summers. So, yes, indeed. Some kind of SOV video stuff. Then we have more. Even more Mummy and the Monkey. <laughs> Let's bring this camera closer. We have uh, Skits and Giggles, Volume 1. Here's a Blu-ray, Skits and Giggles, Volume 2. Hey, there's Stasha. They do comedy skits of her, and they're hilarious. Here we got a film that Grim Gory is actually in. The Cleveland Horror Host, Conquer the Cons. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Awesome stuff, huh? Look at that. There's that lovely couple once again. Look at it. I wonder what their babies will look like. <laughs> and then we even got even more Mummy and the Monkey. Yes, indeed. Here's their Superhost interview. Their tribute to the great Superhost. And the Screaming Skull. And Moon of the Wolf. And then one more. <laughs> Banned from YouTube. Uncensored. Ooh. Yes, indeed. Look at that rarities. The Phantom collects. Get in there, you. And then, of course, we have Dr. Butcher, MD. But this is the zombie holocaust version. Then we have scalps. Eaten alive. I think I looked at uh, the video last time I tried this, and it, it did look okay. So let's uh, <laughs> let's see how it's gonna do this time. What do we got there? We have werewolf in the Amazon collection. That's really cool. We have Bad Ronald, Satan's cheerleader is eaten alive, and that is not the Toby Hooper film. That's the cannibal film, <laughs> or is it? No, it is the Toby Hooper film. Then we got Scalps. Where are you, Scalps? Where'd you go? There you be. Look at this stuff here. Now we'll go down the line. We have Blood Beach. Martyrs, which is a masterpiece. The Valley of Guanji. Ray Harryhausen. The Headless Eyes. I am twisted! <laughs> Street Trash, Return to Salem's Lot, Alien Contamination, Vampires, The Boogans. Then we got The Devil's Wedding Night without Elvira hosting it. What else we got here? We got Caw, Prom Night, Blood Freak, Anacondas, because I like my cheesy monster movies. Godzilla, The Dead Next Door, Blood of the Vampire. Look at this stuff, man. Killdozer. Awesome. <laughs> then we got The Strangers, because that movie is fucking great. I'm rather impressed. <coughs> we got Poison Ivy, The Secret Society. I don't think Drew Barrymore is in that one. Boy, she looked gorgeous in the original. <laughs> we have Perfect Strangers, Larry Cohen. It Lives Again, An Island of the Alive. We got Mark of the Devil. Oh, I can't read it. The Ape, we got right there. Night of the Lepus, The Vampire's Night Orgy, Graduation Day. 
And what's this? Comet Goose? Oh, I guess we're going to go back to the uh, horror host section. <laughs> How did this get all messed up? This is the Midnight Movie, guys. You may have seen Mike introducing some of the Phantom of Haunted Hill videos. There he is, himself. And there's the other Midnight Movie, guys. Midnight Movie's been on since the 80s, and they still make new shows and show awesome horror movies. Fuck yeah, man. What are they on the air for like 40-something years? <laughs> then, of course, Cleveland, we had Gallardi. And after Gallardi, we had The Ghoul. Yes, indeed. Cool it over day, group. Let's see what it says. As the anointed descendant of Cleveland television, television legend Ernie Gillardy Anderson, the ghoul for shocked the airwaves in 1971. Bafo Sacco. And then he had his sidekick Froggy. <laughs> and uh, what's this? This is The White Gorilla. That's a really cool movie. I remember that. Seen that on Superhost. <laughs> The Ghoul's Vault of Golden Garbage, Volume 1. And then we have a bunch of, of the Ghoul shows from like... Let's see if we can do this again. <laughs> Without knocking anything over. The Rats Are Coming, the Werewolves Are Here from 99, 98, 2000. And then 35 Years of Ghoul Power, man. I love this DVD. When I had first got it, I was watching it and I just couldn't stop laughing at the one skit. Hey look, he's a drummer like the Phantom. He was having a cookout cooking a giant kilbasi. I fucking lost it. It was so funny. Anyway, then we have a Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, Hell Knight, and uh, Bloody Birthday. That's right. Bloody Birthday. Alright kitties. We'll call it quits there. Don't want to overwhelm everybody too much. I hate th these videos. They're like five hours long showing you their collection. Do we need to see it that long? <laughs> Uh, we'll break this up. We'll see how well this video does. And we'll see if we do a part three because there's some real goodies coming up. Even some actual Italian DVDs from Italy. So, hey, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. Let the Phantom know you care. Make a comment. Say, hey, what's happening, Phantom guy? <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll check out the Manimals. Uh, some classic 80s punk slash metal. Alright, well, we'll see you guys next Friday. Shall we? We shall. Alright. Toodly news. Hold on, here's what other people do. You know, I was thinking of, I was going to originally do a video of, uh, I've seen videos where people go through a drive through and they say, uh, yes, I'll have what the person before me had. Do you remember what they had? Next thing you know, they're spending $30 because they bought, it, bought food for everybody in the office. <laughs> or something, what else was this? another goofball uh, topic? I don't know, but I figured, why should I do that? I don't even have a car to go through a drive through <laughs> It's all there. So we'll stick to horror, shall we? We'll leave the food reviews up to report of the week. That's right. All right, folks, thanks again. And uh, as I said, give the video a like, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you next time. Toodles. What do you think of the Phantom of Haunted Hill?
What do you think of the Phantom of Haunted Hill? Do you watch the Phantom of Haunted Hill?